Thank you all very much for being here, and uh, we are here for a very special reason, and that is because of Doug Nernick. Uh, Doug was uh, a renaissance man, and the more you knew him, the more you really were amazed by the things he did. Uh, he uh, was uh, one of the funniest guys, uh, he never gave himself credit. He did wonderful character voices, and my children were entertained by him constantly, uh, from Homer Simpson to Pee Wee Herman. Uh, he also displayed uh, his characters as Dr. Phil, as we know, and as Donald Trump, and uh, others that have totally annoyed me at times, but I couldn't <laughs> work with them all. Because he'd always sample them through me, and I'd say, Doug, they're great, they're great, enough, you know? But, uh, <laughs> but I love them. Yeah. He was a cyclist, of course, you know, we have a group here, and he knew just about everything and anything about a bike, but God forbid you rode your bike on the sidewalk, <laughs> because you would be blocked by Doug Nervy. <laughs> and I've been, uh, experienced that many a time, walking the street with Doug. It was embarrassing. <laughs> I was on hand, uh, that's, that's the story that you might know of, at Doug Nervy, where we were walking across the street, and a cab stopped in the crosswalk, I, being a New Yorker, said, well, this way it goes. I went around the cab. Doug opened the door, slid into the car, slid across the seat. And went on the other side. And I just shook my head, God, I you to do that. Yes. Okay, no right doing that. Uh, Doug was a, a tour guide, and I'm proud to say that I got him started in it, and within two years, he outpassed out me with knowledge and constantly corrected me whenever I toured with him, uh, which I, I loved and hated at the same moment, but uh, he just was phenomenal, and he had a passion for it, and I couldn't walk by a building without him telling me exactly how it was built and when it was built and who the architect was, and I said, I really don't care, <laughs> and he insisted I listen, and I... I knew better and I did. Uh, Douglas was wonderful with kids, as we all know. He was a big kid at heart. And again, whenever I was with Doug, I was 12 years old again. Uh, we played, we goofed, we, we just harassed people as much as we could uh, and uh, made funny faces at girls and things like that. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, just recently, uh, Doug and I were uh, swimming in a pool. My neighbor had left and said, you can use the pool. So I quickly called him and Tina up. They came up and we jumped in the pool and we made a whirlpool around. We just kept walking around and around. And the girls wouldn't get in the pool with us after that. They just said, Did you guys stop it? But we, look, at, we're floating, you know. It's silly, stupid teenage boy stuff, but we were having a blast doing it. Uh, Doug was a counselor, and he praised that, and he talked about that frequently with me. I, he didn't get too much into detail with it, but he had a passion for that, and he seemed to love doing that greatly. Uh, and of course, I, I have a bond with him through entertainment, doing murder mysteries, industrials, and improvisation. And uh, it was always a joy to have Doug there supporting me behind the piano and uh, as a friend. It was just great traveling with him and experiencing life with him. I have so many stories that I won't even start because uh, it, it just won't end. It just won't end. But I hope this, uh, this afternoon is a tribute to Doug, a celebration to his life. We lost him way too soon. I was hoping to get old with this guy and, and uh, reminisce. We used to kid about it as we'd get off the, uh, we'd go out to dinner or something, we'd get out off the chair and we'd get up and hey, 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 pops, you know. But uh, we made fun of that. And uh, I'm sorry that I can't experience that with him uh, in the later years. <laughs>